You don't love me anymore. So there's no point. That's news to me. Did something make you think I don't love you? Yes. What? What? Everything. Such as? Just tell me if it's true. No, you tell me what first. What makes me think you don't love me anymore? Your way of, of talking since this afternoon. You weren't like that this morning or yesterday. The way you looked at me. Listen, Camille. Listen, I swear, I can't sleep with the window open. I like silence, darkness, I swear. And you move around too much. From now on, I want to sleep by myself. So no more making love. <laughs> Just listen to this fool. Was that smile mocking or tender? Tender. Answer me then. If it were true, I'd tell you. A woman can always find excuses. But you're a stupid sod sometimes. <laughs> Bad language does not suit you. Doesn't it? Listen, asshole. Fuck. Shit. God damn it. Bastard. Still think it doesn't suit me? Why don't you make love anymore? Alright. Let's do it then. But get on with it. Don't be like that. Like what? You know very well. Your fault. Impetuous, enchanted, mad spontaneity. Without thinking, I'd find myself in Paul's arms. Now, that spontaneity, having left her, it left me too. Even when excited, could I respond with the same frankness as she undoubtedly could? What I said, I said with a secret feeling of vengeance. She seemed to realize that a lie might smooth things over. Just then, she obviously meant to lie. But she changed her mind. Paul had made me suffer, and now it was my turn to torment him by hinting at what I'd seen. I was wrong. She wasn't unfaithful. She only appeared to be. Of her behavior. Though assailed by doubts, I still clung to the fond hope that reason could disperse the confusion caused by feelings. I thought Camille might leave me, and how terrible it would be. Now it's happening. Everything used to happen instinctively in a shared ecstasy.